Right, what's up guys, JJ Richards here. Welcome to another gym tour video. So today we are visiting Falcon Fitness, which is in Froome. It's only about 45 minute drive away, so not too far whatsoever. It's actually owned by Dean White, who is a PCA pro and also a judge. So I'm expecting this place to be bodybuilding heaven. So the music's pumping. I'm excited to get in there. I do need some pre-workout though, because I'm feeling a little bit uh. So we're gonna be doing chest today. Hopefully we've got some calf machines as well because I always train calves because my calves suck. But anyway, let's go in there. Let's see what they've got because I'm very excited about trying out a new gym. Right, so welcome to Falcon Fitness in Froome. So as you can see, this gym is not short of gym equipment. It is unbelievable. They've got such a good variety of equipment for everything you want to train. You name it, they've got it. They've got everything from brand new sparkly gym equipment, and they've also got the hardcore old school equipment as well. So they've really got a good balance between like the modern clean feel, but it's still kind of got that hardcore bodybuilding atmosphere embedded into it. And you can always tell a gym that is run by a bodybuilder because they take pride in what equipment goes into the gym because there's equipment at the end of the day that they want to use. So it's very different to a commercial gym that'll just find one company and say, right, yeah, kick the whole gym out, that'll do. The pieces of equipment in this gym are hand-picked by a bodybuilder for bodybuilders. What more do you need? So with the workout today, as I said, we did chest. Although this isn't a chest movement, I couldn't resist trying out a seated side lateral raise machine because I normally tend to use dumbbells. So if the opportunity comes to use a machine, then we are always going to want to use it. So the first movement we did was we used this Watson incline chest press. That was the first time I've ever used the Watson incline chest press and it was okay. I know the owner is planning on swapping it out and maybe looking at getting one of the hammer strength machines just because the angles were a little bit different. I find that the grip on this Watson chest press is probably a little bit too narrow and um, so it is a lot of tricep and um, whereas with the hammer strength ones are a little bit wider but overall it was a nice machine. It's very humbling because three plates aside felt a lot heavier. Now, the next exercise was a fly. So this pec deck is really good because those handles that I'm holding onto, as you can see, they actually move. So it doesn't set you in a locked position. You have the ability to adjust those handles so it sits comfortably in your range of motion. Because that's sometimes a problem with machines is when they fix you in a set position, if your biomechanics don't quite want to move in that way, you're very restricted. It can sometimes make the movement feel a little bit more uncomfortable, but this one was beautiful. I don't actually quite know the make of it, but it was good. So I had to do some form of dumbbell work. I always find that if I go to a new gym, I love trying out some new bits of kit, but I always like the bread and butter. So they've got a huge selection of dumbbells in this gym. I think they've got up to 95 kilos, which is absolutely ridiculous. But I wanted to give the Watson gym bench a go and it was steady as hell. This little bad boy here is the Watson 10 station. Now you tend to find that when you're using new bits of equipment, they tend to need breaking in. Like I would say I've never used a cable pulley system that is as smooth as this one before. I'd really be keen to try the, the pull down in the back row, but I'm definitely gonna be coming back to this gym a few times during this prep um, because I really wanna train legs in this gym as well because they've got the old school Cybex hack squat, leg press. And a lot of bodybuilders always judge a gym based on the leg equipment and the back equipment. But I'm a bit weird. I base a gym on the calf equipment. That's just because my calves absolutely suck and I love absolutely destroying them. 
This gym hasn't got one, hasn't got two, but it's got three different pieces of calf equipment. And that's not including the leg press as well that you can also use to train calves. Very, very good. Now this is an old school machine that you very rarely see. It's a Cybex tricep extension machine. And this was unbelievable. It gives you such a pump. It is just a fantastic piece of equipment. So they've got quite a good variety of arm machines as well, which is something you don't often see. And I know from speaking to the owner, he's got loads and loads of aspirations to get new bits of kit. You can tell he's a very passionate man when it comes to his gym, and it definitely shows in the quality of the gym equipment he's got in there as well. Now this little bad boy, oh Jesus, don't, don't show my poor calves. Quick, move the camera. I told you they're not great. But this was a really nice, smooth bit of kit. So this is actually the Watson calf raise. I actually want to get the um, the more compact version for my gym. But the foot pedal is actually round. I call it foot pedal, the toe pad, whatever you want to call it. It's quite nice because you can almost wrap your feet around it rather than normally where it's just like the next bit of kit that I'm going to be using now, where it is just a solid straight base. So it's quite nice to have the variety of both. But overall guys, this gym was absolutely insane. I'm looking forward to going back. If you're in the area, you need to check it out because I was very, very impressed. And thank you to Instagram for showing me this insane gym.